Yeah, this guy's bristling with technology, look at him. The cone, as far as the small riverside town of Wivenhoe, is all birds and mud and saltings. The first sign of change is the sand wharf, just on the seaward side of the tidal barrier, and on the opposite bank to the town. Earlier in my journey I'd seen barge loads of Essex sand coming up the Thames towards London. From Google Earth you can see that it is still a sizeable operation. It's home to a small fleet of sand barges, so down to earth the sturdy craft are named after the menfolk of the proprietor's family. Perhaps the women prefer not to have their names attached to such lump and sturdy vessels. The Cone was once a busy commercial river with wharfs right along its upper reaches, but this is the last dockside crane on the estuary. As an amateur student of industrial history, it's lovely to have seen it working. There's pleasure to be had from watching big machinery in operation. There's nothing hidden about a crane, honest in its functional transparency. and to see the way the operator flies the bucket smoothly and efficiently through the air. Great skills. These are our coastal defences. Basically they're beefing up the sea walls and down here they put this barrage to reduce the water flow. The front at Wivenhoe used to flood during spring tides, but the 